happy Friday. Short and sweet, but um, hope you had a great week. <laughs> it was really crazy. <laughs> it was crazy, but the shift is so real. It's so real and it's freaking incredible. Um, hello from Los Angeles. Tomorrow in Hollywood, Beginning at 10 a.m. at Hollywood and Vine, there will be the third March walk, protest, peaceful gathering for Save the Children. Um, the last one, you may have seen my live stream of driving by, driving up and around, and had an amazing bird's eye view of the tons of people that came, all their high vibes, all their swag from Q to, I mean, everything, the signs were incredible, just bringing awareness. So many new peeps reached out since then um, in Hollywood, some that work in the industry with me, some some that don't, some that aren't here. They're like, do you really think this is right? Yes, I know it's happening and it just needs exposure. I know the current administration is doing everything in its power to 95% of the trafficking is taken care of, but there is a still a deep rooted, rooted epidemic. And um, I will be boots on the ground, live streaming, talking to some peeps and sharing that experience with you. My hope is from that, I can bounce over to Beverly Hills because there's going to be yet another Trump rally. Get together, hang out, Trump support thing. You know, it's been happening often in Beverly Hills. It's kind of girl. Um, but I, I wanted to say why I was coming in as I've been incredibly moved and emotional this week and I don't watch TV. Um, symbolism is, of course, we know everything we study and learn. It's just really hard to be entertained with, well, you know, some agendas at play and you know the playbook and rule book of the Illuminatis. But um, I'm kind of a Bravo bitch, though. I do like Bravo. I'm addicted to the housewives. That's kind of like my glass of wine. And I love Below Deck because it's kind of like my job, but on a boat. <laughs> I'm like a chief stew, or was. <laughs> um, sorry, but on Hulu, the, the Many Sides of Jane. It is incredible, and I'm giving you a shout out. I'm gonna tag you, Miss Jane Hart, because you moved me to tears every night this week. The episodes I've watched is a documentary um, of her life. She has, it's like an, it, she has DID, which is basically like um, pers multiple personalities. But they, instead of calling them like alters or um, they're her parts, and they all have a name and they all have a personality and they all have a place in her field. And they've all been incredibly viciously traumatized by abuse, rape. They've been sexually attacked since they were children. And these alters, um, middle America, it happens. Um, she does not name her abusers, but you can kind of feel where the, where it goes and it breaks your heart. And knowing that this goes on in backyards, down the street, neighbors, it's just such a hot topic that needs to be addressed. And I'm putting my love and my attention and my research and my focus this weekend on children, children's safety, children's mental health. What are you people doing? Take it off, the kids. People, kids' mental health, trauma, and the survivors out there, the survivors out there who have been through the trauma that they have been pushed down and muzzled and pushed into the corners of society based on being traumatized as a child. It's just mind blowing. So anyway, I highly recommend it. And um, just to get, a, just to ride that emotional wave with her and see these, what, how these children become shattered absolutely fucking shattered the joke in hollywood was always oh well he was a child actor you know if someone goes down and it's like what does that mean you mean because you know they've been traumatized or sexually abused because you did it or because you know who did or they told you or like why 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 do you feel that way and how many of your friends have been taken out that way we need to speak up i'll see you tomorrow